hello everyone in this short video we will discuss about the different modes of heat transfer that is conduction convection and radiation so first moving towards conduction so i will read out the definition for you conduction is the flow of heat in a substance due to exchange of energy between molecules having more energy and molecules having less energy so now uh, I will first explain you how conduction takes place and then I will show you one video of this same animation through which you can understand that how exactly the energy transfer takes place or exchange of energy takes place from high energy to low energy region from high energy molecules to low energy molecules. So let us consider we have uh, a substance here so when i'm considering or when i'm talking about substance i mean solids liquids as well as gases and we know solids liquids and gases uh, three states of matter they are made up of atoms or molecules and on a microscopic level the molecules are in continuous motion so here whatever i'm considering uh, is a substance which is uh, in solid state so here you can understand that the molecules are well organized and here I'm not showing any uh, molecules or any arrows to, to show that the molecules are moving here and there. So let us say the substance I have considered here it is solid but keep in mind that conduction it takes place in solids, liquids as well as gases. So how it takes place in solids and how does it takes place in liquids or gases we will see it uh, in the next slide. Uh, now first we'll understand that how there is a transfer of energy. So what we have here is a substance which is consisting of a large number of molecules and now what happens is uh, here we have a candle flame. So candle flame uh, we uh, generally we say that the heat uh, in this portion we have a large amount of heat. What does it mean actually is in this portion the molecules that we have these molecules are having higher kinetic energies they are moving very vibrantly they are moving very violently and because of this violent motion or violent movement their kinetic energies higher kinetic energies what happens is this higher kinetic energy molecules they will strike this first set of molecule here so this first set of molecule initially it was not in motion it was having some kinetic energy every molecule will have some kinetic energy but the kinetic energy level was low but when this high end kinetic energy molecules strike this first set of molecule so they started vibrating so their kinetic energy is increasing why they will vibrate is because in between the molecules there are couplings we call it as bonds so because of this intermolecular attraction or intermolecular bonding the molecules can't move out the molecules if they are getting kinetic energy they can't uh, come in motion because of this there is a kinetic energy continuous increase in kinetic energy but restriction because of which they will start vibrating violently and because of this first set of molecules vibrating violently they will transfer these vibrations to the second set second set will transfer the vibrations to the third and this particular process will continue till the end and hence because of this if you put your hand here initially you will not feel the warmth but after certain period of time you will feel that here the portion that you have held in your hand it has become warmed up so the reason is there is a transfer of energy from this end to this end because of this particular kind of thing which is nothing but transfer of energy from high energy molecules to the low energy molecules and this is known as the conduction heat transfer now i will show you the video with which you will be very much clear about the conduction heat transfer okay now here we can see that uh, initially all the molecules uh, were uh, well organized they are not vibrating and what happened is uh, the flame came in contact with this first set of molecules so their kinetic energy increased and but these molecules will not let them to move out so they are started vibrating and this vibration now you can see it is continuously increasing from this end to the another end and with this is the way with which the transfer of energy it takes place from this high energy region to the low energy region the transfer of energy from high energy molecules to the low energy molecules it is done by the mode of conduction heat transfer now we'll see how the conduction heat transfer it takes place in solids liquids and gases so first let us talk about solids so let us consider we have a flat plate which uh, we have uh, uh, held in our hand and one candle is placed at the another end so this end will get heated up first and there will be a transfer of energy from this end to the another uh, because of conduction 
but how does it happens on a micro level how does it happens so we have seen that the vi uh, molecules will get gain kinetic energy and they will start vibrating so this kind of thing it is known as lattice vibrations so this is the microstructure or microscopic view of the same plate i have shown here so what happens is there are number of molecules which are well organized so in a lattice structure they are so there are couplings in between the molecules and let us say this candle flame it is present at this location so what this candle flame has done it has increased the kinetic energy of this first set of molecules and because of this their kinetic energy will get increased and they will start vibrating because they will not be allowed to move out because of the couplings given by the rest of the molecules so more vibrations here these vibrations will get transferred to the second state third state and so on so this kind of uh, energy transfer because of vibrations it is known as lattice vibrations now in addition to this you can see here uh, small dots which are green in color so when i'm talking about metals so whatever the second way of transferring the heat through conduction that i'm talking about so it is related only with metals because in case of metals we have free electrons so this green dots here these are nothing but the free electrons that are present within the metallic body or present within the metal so what happens is when i'm heating it up these electrons will they will get energized and to this electrons there is no uh, bonding present to this electrons there is no restriction because of this this electrons will get energized and it will get transferred through this entire system this will get transferred through this entire body and because of this the energy is carried from this end to the another end because of transportation of free electrons and we call this phenomena as motion of free electrons so in solids the energy transfer it is because of lattice vibrations as well as motion of free electrons but one thing need to be kept in mind that the motion of free electrons along with lattice vibrations it will be there only in case of metals in case of non metals it will be only lattice vibrations now moving towards the conduction heat transfer in liquid or gas uh, in case of liquid what we know is liquids as well as gas there are no intermolecular force of attraction uh, even though in liquids they are but they are very so they are medium they are small as compared to solids so there are no kind of uh, strong bondings we have in between the molecules so let us say this set of molecule uh, we have heated up with certain mean so what will happen is they gained kinetic energy and because of this they will try to move so when they are moving they will bump into the another molecule they will collide with the another molecule and they will give some of its energy to the next molecule this molecule uh, after gaining energy it will move and bump into the another molecule and this process will continuously happen throughout the liquid or gas and this is the way with which the energy is transferred from one molecule to the second second to the third and third to the fourth and so on so this is the way with which the energy is transferred from high energy to the low energy molecule due to collision uh, and it is in case of liquids or gas one thing i have written here which is microscopic motion specifically i have written because whatever i am talking about it is happening on a microscopic level it means that will you will not observe any movement of particles so when it is through conduction either in liquid or gas it will be it will not be having any uh, movement any movement which is observable so this is the way uh, with the views of which the heat transfer through conduction it occurs in case of liquids or gas now moving towards convection so we'll first consider this example then i will uh, tell you about this definition so let us say there is one uh, water container and this water container it is heated with the help of heat source here now what happens is the water particles which are at the bottom of this container they will get heated up first because kinetic energy of this molecules it is very high so it will get transferred to this lead first and again this molecules will transfer the energy to this another set of molecules and it will continue and through it, in this way the heat will get transferred or energy will get transferred from this flame uh, to the uh, inner end of the inner face of the container and on this inner face we have water particles so these water particles will get heated up so after heating what happens is uh, they will try to expand so they will expand because of which their density will decrease and hence what happens is as they are becoming less dense because of buoyancy effects they will move in the upward direction and the upper molecules of water which are uh, having more density they will come down and because of this uh, lower density molecules moving upwards higher density molecules moving downwards and again these molecules will get heated up and move upwards so this cycle will continuously repeat 
and there is a continuous movement of uh, less dense particles which are hot in the upward direction and higher dense particles which are cold in the downward direction and this forms one current which is known as convection current so because of this there is a transfer of energy from one molecule to the another molecule and it is written here macroscopic because we can observe the movement of particles we can observe the movement of water molecules from this bottom side to the upside so some molecules moving in the upward direction some water molecules moving in the downward direction and this is observable that's why i call it as macroscopic motion and here the transfer of energy it is from one region to the another region due to the macroscopic motion of a fluid and this type of energy transfer it is known as convection so in addition to conduction in liquid we will have conduction but in addition to conduction we will have macroscopic motion also with the use of which there is a transfer of energy from one region to another region and we call it as convection heat transfer there are again two different ways by which convection heat transfer takes place this is the same thing that we have seen right now but here the movement it is because of density variations higher density lower density difference we have buoyancy effects they are coming into existence and there is convection current formed so it is uh, formed uh, which is in a natural way so it is in a free way the molecules are moving there is nothing external agency used to move that molecules and this molecule it is solely based on the density variations and this type of convection heat transfer it is known as natural convection so when there is no external agency the movement of particles or water molecules or any liquid or gas molecules if it is because of the density variations we call it as natural convection and let us say we have some movement of particles which is because of external agency we have one uh, electronic circuit board here on which number of chips we have so these chips are working that's why uh, they are generating a lot amount of heat energy which is dissipated through this which is shown by the red arrows and now what we are doing is we are using some air at 30 degrees celsius which is blown over it so there is certain system which forces this air to move over this uh, uh, particular electronic chips so here what happens is the motion of molecules air molecules we have so the molecule will come here it will absorb some amount of energy from this chip and it will move away so this motion it is uh, not because of density variations it is because of some external agency that i have used here so this is known as forced convection because the air here it is forced to move over the object from which it has to extract the heat so this is nothing but a kind of mode which is known as forced convection now the third and last one it is known as radiation heat transfer so let us say we have a chamber in which there is one hot object we have so within the chamber between chamber wall and hot object we have nothing means there is vacuum present no molecules we have and uh, what we observe is after certain duration of time this hot object will uh, cool down so now we can understand that there is no molecule present so between this hot object and this uh, chamber wall in this all white region there is no molecule present it means that uh, there is no transfer of energy from higher molecule higher energy molecule to lower energy molecule like in conduction there is no macroscopic motion of molecule because of which we can say that there is convection heat transfer though there is no movement of molecules there is no transfer of energy from higher energy to lower energy molecules though there is a transfer of energy from hot object to the chamber wall and it is being cooled down so this is the mode which is known as radiation so radiation is the process of heat transfer by electromagnetic waves now what is the meaning of electromagnetic waves we know that every system uh, it consists of or in every substance it consists of atoms or molecules and these atoms consist of charged particles which are nothing but protons and electrons so when you give uh, more energy to the atom this charged particles will get accelerated and as they accelerate more and more there will be a release of electromagnetic radiation from them so as more uh, acceleration of charged particle will have there is more emission of electromagnetic waves so electromagnetic waves are nothing but a kind of energy packets which are transported from one region to the another region which doesn't require any medium conduction and convection requires medium but radiation heat transfer doesn't require any medium to transfer energy from one region to the another region and this is the way with which the energy from sun it comes through the space to the earth so there is no medium between the earth and uh, sun we have similarly if we keep 
the room heater and we sit some distance below uh, uh, apart from it there is a transfer of energy from this through radiation